So it looks like winter's finally here, or getting here. Uh, it looks like we're around um, 40, 44 or so degrees. All the vents are closed because uh, it's so cold. And now, let's see what we got in the greenhouse. Ah, much warmer. Typically it's about uh, 10 degrees or so warmer in here. Uh, right now we're at 60, so we're plus 20 degrees inside of the Chinese solar greenhouse. All the vents are closed. Um, these are the J Jay's uh, Peach Ghost Scorpion Pepper plants. They're finally starting to perk up. Um, I lost one over here, but the other ones are doing pretty good. Uh, of course, the fish now aren't very active uh, because uh, the weather has gotten so cold. Here is the failed, uh, well, not really failed. I mean, this was a cake that had too much soil in it um, that put out some mushrooms, but then eventually uh, quit putting out. And the interesting thing is it keeps getting lower and lower which I seem, I think seems to indicate that maybe um, it's getting eaten uh, by worms or something uh, because it seems to be like getting smaller and smaller. Uh, this is the latest experiment and this is a grow bed that um, instead of fruiting uh, the mycelium like a cake like I did before, I'm actually trying to see whether it'll grow directly inside uh, of one of these um, flood and drain grow beds. So what I did is I I covered it up with plastic uh, during um, the the colonization stage, and we'll take a quick peek here, and we can see uh, that the mycelium is almost fully colonized, and it looks to me like. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Now somebody pointed out that this right here uh, might actually be uh, a bad fungus. But in any case, I'm going to see if I can let this thing fruit. It looks like the whole back half here is completely colonized. Uh, this other half here is struggling. And this was a half that had some king oyster mushroom mycelium uh, that got infected. So perhaps, um, you know, this part of the grow bed won't do so well. I think what I'm going to do now, since this other end of the grow bed is really not doing much, is I think I'm just going to put this into fruiting mode and, and see what happens. Uh, inside the greenhouse we've got around 84% uh, 80, uh, relative humidity. Uh, the temperature is about 60 degrees. Uh, here's some more bulk, bulk substrate that I'm making. And this is the Moringa plant which is now showing some sprouts. I had learned that you really need to chop these up quite a bit, that they actually love it, and that they will actually generate um, way more sprouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bush out this Moringa plant so that instead of growing really, really tall, it's going to be very, very bushy. Now this is, I'm very excited about. Uh, this is a pawpaw tree that I rescued uh, near the, the Potomac River. And out of the four branches, it looks like one of them survived. So it looks like, you know, uh, three of the four are probably dead. I'm going to leave them in there in the hopes that maybe uh, they'll somehow revive. But one of them made it, which means I'm going to have some pawpaw plants growing in here uh, very soon. Uh, again, the fish are hanging out uh, near the bottom of the, um, of the pond, but they're doing well. And other than that, everything is going great, and I will talk to you guys soon.